A woman killed in a hit and run last month in Ballard are continuing to do everything they can to try to help Seattle police identify the driver. Tiffany Ashton and Brandon Whitaker have been out in West Seattle, White Center, Tukwila, and Burien, putting up Crime Stoppers posters offering an $11,000 cash reward. Detectives say the suspect was driving a stolen 2004 gold beige colored Toyota Tacoma when it hit 52 year old Lori Tate in the parking lot of the Fred Meyer on March 19th. Lori was leaving the garden center at about noon with her 12 year old son at the time. He wasn't hurt, but she later died from her injuries. Seattle police say the pickup truck was found torched in Burien three days after it hit Lori. Our beloved Lori. And hopefully we can find this person. Lori was a friend and a mother, a wife, a sister, an auntie and beloved by many people. So we're hoping that by putting up these posters, we can get some attention and find the person that did this. They did it to our family member. They could do it to somebody else. The Seattle police say there were two people in that truck that sped away after hitting Lori. Detectives are asking to hear from any witnesses who know who stole the truck from Georgetown in late February or saw somebody using it. Between March the 19th of Thursday and the 22nd when the vehicle was found, we feel this vehicle had been in several areas. So what specifically we're looking for is video or any surveillance of the vehicle or anybody that was driving this particular truck. We're honing in on Burien, and Tukwila, the South Seattle areas. If you've seen the vehicle, that's the information we need and specifically who was driving the truck. Yeah, remember a huge reward, $11,000 cash. One more look at it, 2004 Toyota Tacoma. If you've got any video of it at that time, before or after it hit Lori, or you know who was driving that stolen truck, that's the key. You're going to get that cash reward, $11,000. You can use that money right now. You will remain anonymous. Submit it through the P3Tips app or at P3Tips.com. Let's get justice for Lori and her son, who was getting therapy every single day after seeing his mother killed. Oh, Walter, the story makes me just lose my mind.